back welcome back welcome back now in this video we're going to talk about how we can revamp our instagram profile and um, but first of all why do we even need to revamp our instagram or facebook profiles well what you want to do here is that you want to create trust right you want to create trust and people want to see that you are trustworthy people want to see that they can trust you right and so we're going to talk about how you can revamp your facebook page and your instagram page but in this particular video let's start with instagram now why you want to revamp your instagram page first you want to look like a trustworthy business that anybody can do um business with right they can they want to see that you are not just another another face on instagram they want to see that you are somebody that they can do business with secondly you want to put your business links you want people to be able to contact you very fast right so you have to be able to put your business link thirdly you want to look more business like right you want to put up content that makes a lot of authority you know that makes you look very very good so um, I'm going to show you some examples of a non-revamped um, page, a page that doesn't, you know, doesn't really show business. So let's let's look at one. This is a, an Instagram page. Um, pardon me, I don't know this person, but I just saw the page. Now, this is a page. This page does not tell you anything about this person. You just know her name is Amaka. And according to her, she's a very blessed girl. She's a Nigerian. She's a Sagittarius. And basically, that's it, right? This page is not optimized for business. This is a personal blog. This is a personal page. It's, if somebody comes here, even if this lady is selling something, um, this page is not optimized. Definitely, this person will not be able to buy anything from this person. Let's see if we can find any other example. Um... Um, let's see if we can find any other business, right? It's not optimized for business. So you can see from here that this page does not have, um, even though this guy is a coach, he's a, he's a, um, according to him, right? See, he looks like a coach, so, or a sports person. It, this page is not optimized right definitely not optimized okay so um sorry let me stop so let's look at an example of what an optimized page look like so i'm going to just show you um a couple of optimized pages so you can see um a page that is optimized let's look at one now this is an example of an optimized page now this is my personal page and uh, you can see it's says a lot firstly when you come here you're going to see my name you're going to see some a bio which i've written about myself spent i spent five million plus on facebook ads for 30 plus client let me help you get sold out in 30 days uh, with my 30 days mentorship program and i give them the link to it then that's not all you can also see another link here just below where they can contact me but that's not all you can also see client reviews lifestyle student reviews courses and stuff that people can use to check out what it is i am doing right so when you tap on this client reviews um it will bring you some of the things people have said about me you can see you can see what people have said about me i put it here now when you tap on lifestyle the same thing you can see some of the lifestyle event now this helps people know who i am people should you know um, um communicate with me on a on a more personal level people get to know me right so this just my lifestyle look at student reviews what students are saying about me right that's what i put here as well and then these are some of my courses right people want to check out my courses these are some of my courses you can see so basically when somebody comes here they are able to tell what i do immediately so this is a business account let's see if we can find um another one another one Okay, so this is another business account. This is also good. Um, not very optimized, but it's still not bad. At least you can see everything here. Uh, this gives details about what they are doing, right? So what is missing here is just a link. It's supposed to have a link to where you can maybe make your purchase. But you can see that everything here has to do with watches, right? So this is another very, very important um, um, optimized uh, profile. Let's see if I can find any other one. Uh, Lander Trucks. This is a business. Okay, good. It is another optimized profile. Again, you can see it goes into detail telling people we are a digital transportation company that brings together people who provide or need the service of a large-scale haulage company. And you can see the website here. So this is the basic things you need to optimize your profile. First and foremost, you need um, a bio. And then you need a good cover photo. You cannot put any type of photo. A very, very good professional-looking cover photo is required. Um, 
like I, I like I said in one of our previous videos, you can use um, Photo Lab. There's an app called Photo Lab. Uh, I think I'm just going to show you that app a little bit. You can use it to create using you 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 can give it any of your pictures and it can create a very professional photo for you. So you don't even need to go to um um what do you call it now to get a photographer to snap you and all that then you need your link right this could be a link to your whatsapp where you con uh, where you conduct and close business right and then you need to put content so this is not something the content part is not something you do immediately it's something you do over time right all right so now let's look at how we can actually um we're going to go back here and see how can we actually revamp it so the first thing we want to do is to um, write our bio our bio is usually very short so there are many ways we can write our bio let's write our bio here now one way to write our bio is to simply um, is to simply we can ask um, we can ask chat GPT but um, that's just a long process you can simply write your bio by yourself so let's write it um, let's assume you are a fashion designer right so you can write your bio I I help fashion designers or I help people look beautiful with amazing fashion styles or so people in amazing um, fashion styles or something like that now um, this is something you should take uh, more time to create because it should pass a direct message of what you do so let's say you you're selling digital products, all right? As a fashion designer, you're you're trying to sell digital products, and right? your product maybe help people start their fashion um, business. You can put that as your as your as your major goal, right? Look at my own. Look at what I did here. I I basically um, did the same thing here. So let me show you again. Right? See, I said let me help you get sold sold out with my thirty days mentorship. Now let me let me show you somebody I follow very well. Um, Bami, where is it? Bami, Bami. Okay, so you can see how this guy does his own, and you see it's very, very optimized. Um, where is he? Why can't I find it? Okay, uh, why can't I find Bami? All right, so this is the person I'm looking for, the Bami. Yeah, look at his own, you can see. Look at what I help you rebrand, reposition, and restructure for better profits, scale, and impact. If you want a better and more aligned brand, work with me. See the link. Very, very simple. And this is one guy I follow very well. You can see he also uses highlights here. TCC, client, client results, client love, DH4 results, work with me, travel, and some other um, stuff he has there. right? But the important thing is once you come to this profile, it is highly optimized very very highly optimized and then and that good thing the guy has done is his brand colors he has chosen his brand colors his brand colors are black orange white every single thing you see here fall within those colors black orange white so um that's another thing you have to do choose your brand colors because when you're working on instagram you're definitely going to need to be posting videos so your videos must fit your brand color so your text um the captions you use on your videos should fit your brand color. let's just take a look let's go through you can see everything he writes here is either a white and orange or black and orange on white background you know it's always white black orange those are those are his brand colors for me my brand colors are blue now i'm not really an instagram person so um, I'm, I'm i'm not posting much on instagram but whenever i want to do a video on instagram these are my colors blue orange and black blue orange and black uh, sorry blue yellow and black those are my these are my brand colors and everything i try to do i try to stick them with these colors right so your brand colors should match with you should have your brand colors now um in a separate video i'm going to teach you how to make uh you can simply use canva to do this actually it's not difficult to do this um stuff that's this uh stuff that you're seeing here the highlights uh pictures right but to, i will show you how to upload your highlights in this particular video um we might cut it into 